If you want to know this phenomenon of life the way it is, you have to go beyond your sense to everything else. Is the day contradictory to the night? No, it is complementary. Because we are fed with this kind of part information, our mind tends to think that everything is contradictory to everything else. You're opening on karma, and this we could we could spend hours talking about this because this is this is my juice here. When we say like, lift the haze of the contradictions. Let's talk about some haze lifting on the contradiction. <laughs> um, one of the, there's a symbol to me that has meant a lot to me. It comes from the Bible, Matthew six twenty two. It's the mandorla, and it's saying that in in even you know. Ralph Waldo Emerson talks about it. We, t we talk about future and past. We talk about heaven and hell. We talk about good and evil. And we see these, <laughs> these contradictions that butt each other. And the mandorla covers itself and is the third eye in the middle and says that that spot is the spot of paradox. That that spot is where all the truth lies. That's where all the colors of the truth lies. It's not a, 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 a contradictory shade of gray and compromise. It's actually where all the good stuff is. Um, paradox has been very helpful for me in understanding and having a high eye, a third eye, and not being so dualistic. Um, let's talk about that a little bit. Can you, can you, can you jump on that? Yes, uh, Matthew, the what is contradictory is essentially uh, in the psychological space of the human being. In, re in reality, existentially, nothing is contradictory, everything is complementary to everything else. Is the day contradictory to the night? No, it is complementary. If it was all day, you wouldn't know what is night. If it's all night, you wouldn't know what is day. So essentially, human perception itself, because it is through five sense organs, it can only al always perceive only a part of it. See, if I show you this part of my hand, you cannot see this part. If I see the... if you see this, you cannot see this. This is the nature of all our perception. All the five senses are able to perceive only with the context, otherwise they cannot. So because of that, because we are fed with this kind of part information, our mind tends to think that everything is contradictory to everything else. Man is contradictory to woman, night is contradictory to day, light is contradictory to darkness. No, they're all complementary to each other. It is just that because our perception is so fragmented, five sense organs are made that way. These sense organs are only good for survival process. If you want to know, they are no good. They are only good to help you to survive on this planet. That you can do by perceiving things clearly through your sense perception. If you want to know, life the way it is, if you want to know this phenomenon of life the way it is, you have to go beyond your sense perception. In a way, the entire yogic science is all about this. Even the karma that we are talking about is all about this, because all the karmic inputs are in this sense, bits and pieces of information out of which we are trying to make something. This is like a child starting to, let us say, we give him a million piece uh, jigsaw, he puts four pieces together and says, here I got it, this is a bear, all right? But uh, there are a million other pieces that you have never seen. So, looking at life in pieces through keyhole visions makes everything look like one is against the other. But in existentially, nothing against anything else because as we sit here, see that is your body, this is my body. This is my mind, that is your mind. What you call as my body, what I call as my body is, what I have accumulated is my body, what you have accumulated is your body. What I have accumulated in impressions is my mind, what you have accumulated as impressions is your mind. But there is no such thing as my life and your life. This is a living cosmos. You have gathered a little bit, I have gathered a little bit, we are enjoying that. The privilege of creation is, the magnanimity of creation is that Though we are really nothing in this existence, it has given us an individual experience, which is a tremendous, tremendous privilege. Unfortunately, human beings are not able to appreciate or understand this privilege. Though you are not even a speck of dust in this cosmos, you have an individual experience. You can look at it from your own uh, end, as if you are a whole universe yourself. 
But uh, if you take this individuality too seriously, everything will be contradictory. Once it's contradictory, as you get more invested in these contradictions, conflict is a natural outcome, you know.